Steven Universe is the property of Cartoon Network, Rebecca Sugar, and its respective owners. Any and all footage or images have been used for the sole purpose of critique or parody, and as such are protected under fair use. Please support the official release. Hey, how are you? I'm Slice of Otaku, and Three Gems and a Baby is such a great episode. Greg flashbacks tend to be so informative, but at the same time touching. I really don't know how he does it. Whenever Greg has screen time, he makes us love and appreciate him even more. He loved Rose so much, so much that he was willing to let her go for her to be happy. To this day, he doesn't understand why, but that doesn't matter to him. And that's just, wow. Our first Greg flashback was in the episode Story for Steven, in which Greg details the story of how he met Rose. A story of love at first sight, well, at least on his end. Jem Harvest let us know that Greg left his family behind for his music career. That's huge. Then after that, he gave up his music career to be with Rose. The next Greg flashback was We Need to Talk, which is pretty heavy. Greg established his relationship with Rose, his desire to be in a serious relationship with her and not just be a fun time. He desperately tried to fuse with her in an attempt to further understand her and her culture. It is a super emotional episode, making it not only my favorite Greg episode, but one of my favorite episodes of the entire series. Then there's Greg the Babysitter, which was probably the lightest of all of them. It was pretty much a taste of parenthood for Greg and Rose, although it could never work out like that. My point is, all these episodes are amazing, and if you notice, they proceed in chronological order. Greg's flashbacks gradually come closer and closer to the present, and this has been confirmed by Rebecca Sugar. The Greg flashback episodes are all in a sequence, um, from the earliest to the current. So considering the latest flashback from Greg included Steven as a baby, that means no more Rose. We won't be getting any more flashbacks of Rose from Greg. And before any of you lose your heads, it's not as bad as it may sound. Sure, we won't be seeing any more Greg and Rose action, which is a bummer, but that doesn't mean we won't be seeing any more Rose in the future. Greg's flashbacks gave us a chance to better understand Rose and her interest in humans. Without them, we wouldn't really have much of a grasp on how much Rose loves humans despite not understanding them very much. We'd just be going by the words of characters that worship the ground she walks on, which would be biased. But we have so many questions pertaining to Rose, and new questions keep rising to the surface. We need answers. We need closure, just like the characters, and we will get it in time. Since Rose won't be in any more Greg flashbacks, that leaves us with the flashbacks of other characters, like in Garnet's flashback episode, The Answer. In that episode, we didn't receive much information on Rose, but we are able to see her pretty much recruit Garnet, which Rose said to Greg was a long story. How'd you end up with uh, Harpo, Groucho, and Chico? Oh, them? Those are three long stories. So right now, anyone with a flashback of Rose worthy of being an entire episode will most likely be a gem. And you know what that means, the juicy information we salivate for anytime she's mentioned. It's really time to buckle up. Don't think the Crooniverse suddenly forgot how to blow our minds. Things lately have been nice, sweet, and human. They're taking their time, buttering us up, and then BAM! They're gonna throw us in the pan and heat things up. We haven't had a Lion episode since season 1. Lion episodes always include something Rose related. Pearl is the only long story that has yet to be told, and you already know she's the leader of the Rose Quartz fan club. That makes me think that our next flashback involving Rose will be told by Pearl. First Amethyst gave Steven her origin story, then Garnet did so, and it seems like these origin stories are almost getting closer and closer to Homeworld. We started off with Amethyst who originated from the kindergarten, then onto Garnet who is a fusion of two Homeworld gems who came together during the war. In the case of Pearl, maybe we'll be able to see Homeworld for the first time, and I know there are a lot of you who believe that Pearl is the former Pearl of White Diamond, and I, I don't know if I believe that or not, but if she is, maybe we'll get a glimpse of White Diamond. I feel like we won't see White Diamond until we've seen or heard something more about Pink Diamond. If we do get something White Diamond related, maybe just her voice or a silhouette or something like that, something eerie that'll just make us go bonkers. That's what I expect at least. But you should know that if the Crooniverse is giving us any diamond footage whatsoever, I will gladly accept. I will be thankful. Please, I need more diamonds. But yeah, Pearl has always been on the fence when it comes to telling Steven things about, you know, the past or gem history. 
and right now I feel like Steven's mature enough to handle some serious subject matter, although he'll probably cry. Also, Pearl seems to be slowly getting over her Rose obsession and when she does, I think she'll actually be ready to tell a story, because if it's told at any point before then, it'll be way too biased. Why won't you just let me do this for you, Rose? And what if not even Garnet or Amethyst know how Pearl met Rose, making it a story for the entire family? I think that would be pretty cool, but what about you guys? Who do you think will provide the next Rose flashback and what do you think they'll say? Drop it in the comments and be sure to share this video with every cool adult you know. Thanks for watching and have an awesome day. Hey, I knew you'd stick around. Well, not really, but thanks anyway. While you're here, like the video, subscribe for more, and click the bell icon next to my name so YouTube will actually value your subscription. Oh yeah, and I love you.